Um, I'm very thankful I uh, actually got the opportunity to speak here to talk to you. And uh, my mission today is uh, to show you a student perspective, uh, to introduce you what students think about their education, uh, how they are trying to change it, uh, how they can get involved, and uh, where they are already successful. Um, so, as, um, as was mentioned, I'm part of OICOS. Um, you say president, uh, that sounds from the outside, from inside, I'm like an army of OICOS. That's how I feel. Um, because I have the honor to support uh, currently 41 chapters um, uh, across the globe uh, that are trying to uh, bring a sustainable, sustainable social and environmental perspective uh, in economics and management. Um, I guess it's quite old organization, uh, more than 28 years. Uh, it's connected to Greek word, which I actually learned is ECOS pro uh, properly uh, pronounced, and that's home, and that's basis of ecology and economics later, so that's why I work. Uh, in the next slides, um, I'd like to actually guide you through three topics. Uh, one is I'm totally be informed. Uh, so what do we learn and what do we want to learn as students? Uh, another one would be about getting involved. So how can we actually influence what we learn as students? And then the third one, as I mentioned, would be about making a difference. So let's go to be informed. Uh, for this, uh, I decided to use as an illustration the business as unusual survey by Net Impact. It was published on 2nd of September, so quite fresh uh, survey. Uh, it's an organization that actually um, gives students and uh, young professionals uh, under slightly similar mission as Oikos has, uh, bring sustainability uh, in business. Um, they have been doing this uh, survey since 2006. And uh, basically, students are rating uh, their graduate programs uh, from social and environmental perspective. And uh, they are sharing their views on how they like their education. Uh, it's mainly focused on the US. So there are some examples of uh, European universities that are also involved in this. Uh, I mentioned some of these. Uh, and already put uh, one of the measure Right. 
thinking. Uh, uh, the satisfaction is uh, actually kind of uh, decreasing. Uh, you can see that uh, in 2014, uh, less than 20% are actually satisfied uh, with um, addressing of, uh, social and environmental issues in their curricula. In 2010, it was more. Uh, in fact, these universities are actually doing a lot. They are improving, but apparently the demand of students is very higher. Uh, and that's one of the signals uh, to the teachers' curricula creators that uh, students actually want more. Uh, this is actually uh, another initiative, and I think it shows even a uh, more critical and harsher uh, view of uh, what we miss in curricula. Uh, the business schools were kind of optimistic, as, at least from my point of view. But they didn't have economics students, and uh, uh, the PEPS, uh, Economic France, uh, the student initiative that actually uh, did a research on uh, economics uh, curricula in France, uh, and 50 universities in France, and the results are set according to me. So, as you can see, no place for past and current real world economic issues, 3.3%. No time to reflect. So, uh, theory of knowledge, uh, history of economic thought, uh, you can see 2.2% uh, is currently in the curricula of economics teaching in France. And uh, other social issues, we are talking about interdisciplinarity, actually. And uh, here you can see the situation uh, opens to other social sciences in economics, 1.8%. Um, it can differ, of course, from country to country, and I don't want to scare you. There are countries that are really better, uh, and I hope. But um, that's the student's view of, uh, of uh, curricular economics, and I think we simply have a lot of work to do here. Um, to let's move a little bit to uh, what actually we can do, how we can overcome the curricular gap. Because apparently students are missing a lot. And uh, I think that's also the reason why uh, many people got involved in Oikos. Because they are at the business school, uh, they are being taught all the economic theories and uh, business theories. Uh, and uh, for them, as well actually as for me, as well as a member of Oikos Prague,
chapter in Kenya. Uh, and of course, you can do a lot on the research side as well, uh, but I will skip it now. Uh, I think uh, you can also play a significant role when transforming uh, economics and management education when you campaign. And uh, here I wanted to mention uh, ISIPE uh, initiative. Who of you have never heard of this initiative? Could you raise your hand? Okay, Tom. Well, it's quite interesting. I actually reached out to a huge amount of media a few months ago. Uh, Financial Times, Guardian, uh, um, signatories uh, of uh, 2,400 numbers assigned the initiative. And you can read, call for theoretical pluralism, methodological pluralism, interdisciplinary approach, all put together by students from all over the world who want to change the curriculum and decided to campaign for it. You can, it's quite a strong statement. We are dissatisfied with the dramatic narrowing of the curriculum that has taken place over the last couple of decades. This lack of intellectual diversity does not only restrain education and research. It limits our ability to contend with the multidimensional challenges of the 21st century, from financial stability to food security and climate change. The real world should be brought back in the classroom, as well as the regular tourism of theories and methods. One way, you go out and campaign for curricular change. Another way uh, of getting involved, I see dialogue uh, and student engagement at universities. So basically what the Oikos members do with the chapters. Every chapter has an advisor for a reason. Uh, because it's a person that is uh, based at the university who can support the chapter and with whom you can actually start the dialogue as a student. And then you can go out and negotiate with university management as well. Um, and other examples of uh, actually open activities that are entering the curricula, uh, uh, organizing lectures uh, uh, by open chapters, uh, microfinance lecture in Tübingen, which were originally a, a visit of a person talking about microfinance that actually turned out into a course. Uh, Lillenburg, a series of lectures on post growth at the Lofana University, organized by Oikos chapter. And then at the last, I would like to actually show you a video of uh, one of Oikos activity, and uh, afterwards I'll ask a question. So you maybe try to pay attention. <laughs> and the video is going to be loaded. <coughs> I, I knew that something would happen. So, uh, basically, this is a project uh, run by Michael Chapter in Britain. Uh, Uh, 